Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use advanced color tools in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And guys, I'm really excited about today's episode because I'm gonna show you some amazing techniques that are gonna take your color work to the next level. We're gonna show you a unique set of tools that's going to allow you to create complementary colors incredibly simply and even apply colors that match your background image. We're gonna show you how to spice up an ad and how to work with your color library, swatches, and custom colors in Photoshop. All right, guys, now before we get into Photoshop, let's talk a little bit about color. Now, I have a good friend of mine here today to help us out with today's lesson. This is a color wheel, and basically it has the color spectrum around the wheel. We start off at blue, then go around to orange, then before you know it, you're back to blue. Now, the reason it's in a wheel is because we have different arrows here pointing from like down to blue and up to orange. And it says on that arrow, complementary. So what that means is these colors are complementary, meaning they're gonna go really well together. And that's the whole thing with color is like, different colors really do look great when combined together. Now, the tricky part is knowing which colors look great. Say so like, I've got this blue, what's the exact orange that's gonna look great with that blue? Now, that's a really tricky thing to figure out. But thankfully, we figured out a much easier way to do it in Photoshop. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Now the image we're working on today, this is actually an ad for the ultimate guide to retouching, which is an amazing retouching tutorial. And you can click on your screen right now to find out more information. Okay, now all of our text to start off with is white and it doesn't look bad. It really doesn't look horrible, but it's, it's, all, it's a little bit boring being, being white like this. I wish there was a little bit more color in this image. So we're gonna go ahead and add that color. But before we get started, I wanna make sure we got all of our right windows in order. It's gonna help make the setup in Photoshop a lot easier. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. All right, so for our work with color, we're gonna go ahead and load up a couple color palettes. So I'm gonna go up to Window, and we're gonna go down to where it says Libraries. So that's gonna be the first thing we click on. We're just gonna move that right over here. Next, we're gonna go to Window, and down where it says extensions, we're gonna to go to Adobe Color Themes. All right, and we're gonna pull that right over here as well. There we go, so we've got our color themes and our libraries. And you know what? The last thing we're going to do is I'm gonna to go to window and then down here to color, because I'd like to open a color window as well. We can just put that right down there. We'll just kind of like create a little block here. Okay, perfect. My ADD is kicking in. It's gotta be perfect. All right, so here we go. Now we're taking up a little bit of screen real estate. Let's go ahead and just push this over just a little bit for now so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we've got a great resource for working with color. And let me explain how this works. So we're gonna be using the Adobe Color Themes, Libraries, and the color in conjunction with one another. So my first goal, I wanna get some of this text here. We see we have like before and after text. I wanna get this to go with what's going on in my image. Maybe I want a color that's complementary to the skin tones of the guy in this image. That seems appropriate, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So the first thing I need to do is sample a color from his skin. So I'm gonna hit I for the eyedropper, and I'm gonna click right here on his skin tone. So there we can see, we sampled that color, and now we can see here in our color, that became our foreground color. Okay, really cool. Now here in our Adobe color themes, we have a lot of different options. I'm gonna stay on the create tab for now. But we can choose all these different options that we wanna use with our color, like analogous, monochromatic, triad, complementary, all these different options with any color in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and load the skin color into this Adobe color themes. Now to do that, you're gonna to wanna to click on this button right in the middle below your actual color wheel here. And it says set selected color from your active color. That makes sense, right? Our active color is his skin tone, and we wanna go ahead and set it in this color theme. So we're gonna click on that. Okay, and what you can see is it basically automatically generates a complementary color. Let's go ahead and click on complementary here, and you can see here are the colors. This is the actual color we scheduled, or clicked on, <laughs> scheduled does not make any sense. This is the actual color we sampled from our image. And now here we have different shades of that color as well as different shades of complementary colors, which is amazing, guys. This is very, very powerful. 
So let's say we wanted to see a triad of colors. Well, now I know that all of these colors go really well with this color as well. So these are like actual calculated decisions that Adobe's making for you. So now you can sample any color in any document and you'll automatically know what all the matching colors are that go along with that color. So just play around here a little bit, guys, between like triad and complementary. There we go. Compound. All of these colors are going to look great together. All right, well, let's go ahead and stay on triad for now. This gives us a couple really nice colors. I can put some greens in there. We can put some blues in here. Things are gonna look really good. So how do we move from our Adobe color themes to colors that I can actually use? Well, that's where my library comes in handy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on this button here that says add to swatches. So let's click on that button and we're gonna see that here in my library, all these colors were just loaded into my library where we can see there's this brown color this green color, the tan color, they're all loaded right over here into my library. Not only that, but if you ever wanted to go to window and down to swatches, they're also loaded here in your swatches as well, if you're a swatch user, if you're a fan of the swatch. Okay, so what we can do now that these colors are here in our library, check this out. If I just click on the word before right here in my text layer, we're gonna bring this back over here so we can see what we're doing a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and zoom out our main image a little bit more. Okay, so if I click on the word before, all I have to do is click on any of these colors over here and it's automatically going to change the font color to this color. This is a complementary color of whatever's in the skin tone of my subject. This is amazing, guys. I don't even have to go into the font, into the type tool. I don't have to go to like, click on here and then hit T for the type tool and go here and then try to color photo and do an eyedropper tool. No, there's none of that at all. You just click on your font and you click on the color you want as long as it's in your library and it's going to turn to that color automatically. How this is even cooler. If I hold down shift and click on all of these fonts, retouching, guide to, the ultimate, all of those, including a color fill layer. This is amazing, guys. All of these layers, I can simply click on any of the colors here in my library and they're all gonna be changed at the exact same time. I just changed like a bunch of font layers color at the exact same time, which is this is the only way to do it in Photoshop. So for those of you guys who are Photoshop users, um, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I had no idea you could do that. Cause I actually didn't know you could do this until like earlier today when I figured it out. Anyway, awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's say we wanted to do just a couple at a time. Let's say like, you know, before, uh, before I wanted to be this color. I want to be that color. You know what? No, I want the before to be like more dull. There we go. So that's the before. That's actually the, the skin tone that we captured from our subject. After, I like that green. Now the ultimate guide to, let's, that's under there. So the ultimate guide to, that's right over there. Let's just zoom in to see that. The ultimate guide. Let's go ahead and click on those. And then I'm going to put those as this blue. And you know what? Retouching, I want to be that blue too. So I'll just click on that. Now there's a little line in here, that's actually a color fill layer with a layer mask on it, which is so cool that I can change a color fill layer's color just with these two. So now let's try clicking on, we could do a darker blue, but that doesn't really show up. We could, you know what, let's go back to that tan. That looks cool, right? The tan there, the tan there, this is the tan in his skin. These colors all look so good together. All right, and flurn.com, you know what, we could try, ah, that's just too dark. We gotta. We gotta sell some products here. It can't be, <laughs> it can't be that dark. No one's gonna buy it if they don't know where to get it. All right, only available at, there we go. We can zoom out and we have a couple of options. So only available at, and from here it doesn't, you know, like, there we go, it doesn't really matter. Or, you know what, I have this color. Let's go ahead and try some complementary colors or monochromatic. Let's try some others of this same variety. I'm gonna, let's see about some of these colors. Let's go ahead and add those to the swatches. And it here puts them in our color library. And now we'll try some of those colors. That might look really good too. All these colors, remember, are calculated to look great with the skin tone that's in my image. All right, and there we have it. Now, if you wanna just get all of these menus away, I know it's a lot on this screen. We've got color themes, libraries, and color, and all this other stuff. If you wanna just make all that stuff temporarily go away, just hit the tab key and all your menus are gonna go away temporarily.
All right, let's hit F for full screen and then zoom that in. And now we can see this is, it's a really, really cool ad, guys. And this isn't something that, you don't need to do this every time and you don't need to put 10 different colors in every single thing you do. But now we figured out an amazing way to sample color from any image and then put into it automatically calculated colors that match that original color. It's really, really cool. Now, if you're excited about this and you're like, oh my God, I would totally actually use that. Let me show you a great way to save this workspace so you can just pull it up at any current time. So to save this space, all we have to do is go to window down here to workspace and I'm gonna go to new workspace. Okay, and we'll just call this Flurn Color 3 because I've already done this twice. So <laughs> Flurn Color 3, let's hit save there. Now let's go ahead and say that I exit out all of these things and I'm working and doing some different stuff and I wanna to go to my Flurn Color 3. Well, if I'm on a different workspace altogether, let's just close all of those out again. So let's say I'm on the Flurn workspace. If I go to Flurn Color 3 and I'm like, where's all my, where's all my stuff? All I need to do is go down to here and go to reset Flurn Color 3 and it'll reset it exactly like it was when you first saved it. So no matter where I am in Photoshop forever and ever and ever, I don't, you know, I've got different color spaces going on. I just go to Flurn Color 3. Yours probably won't have that three in there and I'll go to reset, and there we go. It put that one down there this time. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Florin. I had a super fun time with this episode. I hope you had a lot of fun too. Now, color is one of those things that is just gonna open up possibilities for you. So whether you're working with photo or graphics, the ability to pull in complementary colors is gonna really, really help you guys out. Just remember these key steps to get it done. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get all your panels in order. I suggest using the color panel as well as Adobe color themes and your libraries. Next, grab an eyedropper to sample a color in your image. And then you can load that into your Adobe color themes simply by clicking on the button that says set selected color from active color. Now it's time to play around, guys. You got a world of color in your hands. If you wanna play around with monochromatic, triad, complementary, they're all there for you. And when you're ready to save those colors, hit that add to swatches button. This is gonna allow you to use these colors forever and ever. And changing color of text is really easy using this method. Simply click on your text and then click on the color in your library. It'll automatically change it for you. All that's left for you to do is have some fun. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you liked this episode. If you wanna learn more about Photoshop and photography and color and just all kinds of fun stuff with me, hit that subscribe button on your screen now. We'll send you free videos every single week. And if you have any questions or comments about today's episode, leave them right down below. We'd love to hear from you as always. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. You'll see me soon, maybe. <laughs> I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. How do you use advanced color tools? Photo crop, photo crop. Photo crop is not, that's not even a program. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography. There was a motorcycle. Like when, blah, 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 blah. that was, I can do better. All right, that was a great intro. Yeah, nailed it. And when you're ready to save those color, simply. That's how you know I'm excited. I do this.